This is Yashima Station, the starting point of Yuri Kogen Railway, which runs through Akita Prefecture. During the morning and early evening commuting hours, there are many high school students. At Yuri Kogen Railway, sales from commuter and student passes account for 38% of the transportation revenue, most of which comes from high school students. These high school students are the train's main users. Mr. Kayaba Michio, the railway's president, chats to the high school students in the waiting room and on the train whenever he has time. Since becoming president, Mr. Kayaba has taken a number of measures to ensure the continued existence of the railway. In today's program, we take a look at Yuri Kogen Railway, which is struggling to increase the number of passengers. Approximately 500 kilometers north of Tokyo, Yuri Kogen Railway runs 23 kilometers between Ugo Honjo and Yashima stations in southern Akita Prefecture. The third sector railway company was established in 1985, taking over Japanese National Railway's Yashima Line. Running in the foothills of Mount Chokai, the symbolic mountain of the area, the railway was an important means of transportation for residents living along the line. However, passenger numbers declined year by year, along with the region's aging population. In 2022, the number of passengers dropped to 500 per day, one quarter of what it was when it opened in 1985. With the business struggling, Yuri Kogen Railway began looking for a new president, and in 2019, Mr. Kayaba Michio was selected from 27 candidates. President Kayaba worked at Sendai City Hall in Miyagi Prefecture, where he was involved in tourism promotion and earthquake recovery. After retiring from City Hall, he served as the president of a company that maintained subway and bus rolling stock. <laughs> President Kayaba first focused on halting the decline in passenger numbers. Around Yashima and Ugo Honjo stations, the two starting points of Yuri Kogen Railway, there are several high schools. Many of the students from these schools use the railway to get to and from school. However, the number of student pass users in 2016 was 159. By 2021, that number had fallen to just 57. To find out how to encourage people to use the railway, President Kayaba surveyed the high school students' parents. The survey revealed that many parents often drove their children directly to school. However, 40% said that they would use the train if student passes were cheaper. Impact 
9,000 円台にするというようなことをして安くなったなというふうに見えるようにして区間ごとにバラバラですけどおおむね5割ぐらい引きましたですね。Having decided to lower student pass fares, President Kayaba created posters promoting the reduction and personally visited communities and high schools to encourage people to use the train. ですね。学校の方にはそういうことではなくて、勉強とか計画性とか実施性とかっていうのには列車を使うと学校では得られないようなものがたくさんありますよということをお話して、一番大きかったのは、その時の新しく入った1年生が予想以上にたくさん乗
The most popular tourist attraction along the Yuri Kogen railway line is the Wooden Toy Museum, which opened in 2018. Making its home in an old elementary school, the museum, where visitors can play with wooden toys, attracts 46,000 people a year. In collaboration with the Wooden Toy Museum, Yuri Kogen Railway debuted its own toy train. the interior of which was crafted using locally grown cedar. There are wooden toys everywhere, and children are free to play with them all. It's like a part of the museum. This is Ugo Honjo Station, which connects to the JR line departing from Akita Station. Most of the visitors to the Wooden Toy Museum board the train here. This family purchased a special collaboration ticket, which includes a one-day pass for the Yuri Kogen Railway and admission to the Wooden Toy Museum. Boarding the train, the little boy immediately begins playing with the wooden toys. The train departs. It takes about 12 minutes to get to the station closest to the wooden toy museum. From the station, it's a 15-minute walk and a free shuttle service is available from the station provided by the Toy Museum. Showing the collaboration ticket at the entrance will get you an original pin and a discount at the museum's cafe. The museum has more than 100 kinds of wooden toys and play equipment that can be touched and played with. Many families come to play with the wooden toys. For years, Yuri Kogen Railway has run seasonal event trains such as the beer train and the Halloween train. Attendants dressed in kimono board these event trains to provide sightseeing information and sell items on board. The kimono worn by the attendants are traditional work clothes of the region, giving the train a distinctive local feel. President Kayaba decided to run event trains almost monthly, whereas before he took over the post, it had run several times a year. The Koi Nobori train runs in April and May. Employees can be seen decorating the train at Yashima Station. Koinobori are colorful carp-shaped streamers that are displayed outdoors on Children's Day, a traditional Japanese event held in May. The koinobori, or carp streamers, are decorated with wishes for the healthy growth of children. The various koinobori create a colorful atmosphere inside the car. During this period, children riding the koinobori train receive coloring books and origami as gifts. In September 2022, to revive tourist numbers that had declined due to the pandemic, President Kayaba launched a new measure. The company debuted a new event train.
The exterior of the train features silhouettes of Mount Chokai, and the interior was designed to evoke a sense of nostalgia. This vehicle was refurbished at a cost of approximately 20 million yen. It was a bold decision in a situation in which the annual deficit of 100 million yen was being covered by the local government. ま、あの、仮想化をしている分はこう減ってくるはずなんですけど、それが減らんということは観光の方がそれなりに埋めてるんだなというのはありましたんで、そこをそこ上げすれば収入はある程度そちらの方については伸ばせるだろうというふう
That toy train is also used for the day-to-day -day operation. So for that reason, the employees of the company have to decorate and undecorate all those vehicles again and again. That means, you know, that the thoughts of Mr. Kayaba, the president, is now shared by all members of the company for the future uh, of the railway. They're really stretching their fleet all across the board. Yes, indeed. Next up is Tourist Trains in Style, where we introduce you to amazing tourist trains from all across Japan. Kaidi is JR East Tourist Train, which debuted in 2019. It travels approximately 170 kilometers between Niigata Station in Niigata Prefecture and Sakata Station in Yamagata Prefecture on the Sea of Japan side. Kaidi comes from Kai, which means sea, and Ri, which means countryside. The name was chosen with the hope that passengers could enjoy both the charms of the sea and the countryside of the region. We are catching the train at Sakata Station bound for Niigata. The gong hit by the conductor is the signal for passengers to board the train. At 3.02 p.m., Kaidi departs Sakata Station. Kaidi is a four-car train. Car one has two-person reclining seats. Car two has four-person compartments. Car three has an onboard shop and event space. And car four is the dining car. Here, passengers can enjoy dishes from famous restaurants along the line. Large windows offer magnificent views of the region's rice fields. Food is being prepared in the kitchen space located in car three. This time on the train departing Sakata Station, the menu is Italian. Local beef, pork, and fish are served along with seasonal fruit and sweets. The meals, which are only served to passengers in car four, are part of a special travel package. The menu changes with each return trip and with the seasons. Passengers in the other cars can reserve an original Kairi bento box. All of the food in the bento box is made from ingredients produced along the line. In addition to beverages and snacks, original Kairi goods can be purchased at the onboard store in car 3. Next to the onboard store, there is a stamp counter where you can get a stamp to commemorate your journey. About one hour out from Sakata Station, the Sea of Japan appears on the right. This stretch of coastline was selected as one of Japan's 100 most scenic spots. The 10-kilometer section is shaped by inlets, reefs, and uniquely shaped rocks. The train slows down so the passengers can enjoy the view.
Leaving the spectacular view behind, Kaidi stops at a station for about 30 minutes to let a train pass by. Passengers use this time to step outside and take pictures of the train. Adjacent to the station, visitors can also buy souvenirs, such as local specialties from along the line. In addition, a special soft serve ice cream menu is available for Kaidi's passengers. After a 30 minute stop, Kaidi heads to Niigata. Viewing the beautiful sunset, we will soon be arriving at our final destination, Niigata Station. Three hours and 30 minutes after departing Sakata Station, the train trip to enjoy the spectacular scenery and food comes to an end. Kaidi operates one round trip per day, mainly on weekends and holidays. Each car has a distinctive design and layout which makes it great for individual travel or group travel. I personally like the booths. They give you that sense of coziness and privacy. Hmm. If you want to join car number four, then you have to arrange uh, to join a special tour and that includes those nice meals. But uh, if you want to join car number one or car number two, then all you need are the basic fare ticket plus the seat reservation ticket. And if you grab the delicious ekeben or something, then you will get the perfect tourist train experience uh, for a very reasonable price. So you can travel on it for business purposes, you can travel on it as a tourist, or you can also maybe spice up your business trip and get one of those nice meals in. So it's a tourist train that really fits a variety of needs. Yes, indeed. <laughs>